WCS is happy to be in Washington today. We filed a letter with the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, our notice of intent that we're going to start the licensing for a used nuclear fuel dry cast storage pad, an ISPACY, for licensing to start in, by April 2016. We've had lots of discussions locally and on a statewide basis in Texas. This is a big deal. This has not been done before. There's a tremendous need. Uh, there are several permanently closed decommissioned power plants that all they have on site are dry cast storage systems. Uh, those could be consolidated into one interim storage system while we wait on a permanent repository. Yeah, some people have said that this is going to be very challenging and difficult to do. Uh, WCS has found a lot of challenging, difficult to do projects over the course of our history and we've been very successful. Uh, part of that's been the consent basis that we've done all of our projects with. So when we started low level waste disposal, there had been a billion dollars spent, 10, 10 sites across the United States, and none of them were successful. So we were the only one that succeeded, and it was because we had a community that actually recruited us to the area, wanted to diversify their economy, got well educated on the topic, and felt confident in the safety and, and, and compliance and environmental protection that we would provide for such a project. We think that same type of attributes can be applied to spent nuclear fuel and the storage of that at our facility. It's the first step of a used fuel management system and we're happy to get the dialogue started here in DC.